Hi, welcome to What's Happening. Here are the top five stories. At number five, the police command in Eboin State paraded six suspected bandits on Monday who were arrested for alleged conspiracy, armed robbery, murder and arson, among other crimes. The command said the suspects were also responsible for attacks on police stations, the killing of its personnel and destruction of facilities belonging to the Independent National Electoral Commission in the state. The Commissioner of Police in the state, Ali Ugarba, paraded the suspected criminals at the command's headquarters in Abakiliki. Garba listed items seized from the suspects to include rifles, a live tortoise, charms, arms and ammunition. At number 4, the Akwaibom State University has expelled a student, Inyobong Ekbu, for publishing a derogatory and defamatory article on Facebook in 2019 against the governor of Akwaibom State, Udom Emmanuel. Ekpo was in his final year at the Department of Agricultural Engineering when he was expelled for insulting the governor. He was first suspended indefinitely after appearing before a disciplinary committee before his expulsion two months ago. In the article, Ekpo had accused Emmanuel of reneging on a promise he allegedly made in 2017 to give financial reward to the then graduating students of the university. Reacting, the university authorities said Ekpo's article was a breach of the matriculation oath and a violation of the university rules and regulations. However, the expelled student has given the university authorities one week to restore his studentship or face legal actions. At number three, the federal government has announced the establishment of four new universities to address shortfall in technology, medicine and nutrition. The new universities are to be located in Akwaibom, Jigawa, Oshun and Bauchi states, while four other existing technology universities are also to be upgraded. This was disclosed by the Minister of Education, Adamu Adamu, who was represented by the Ministry's Permanent Secretary, Sonny Echono, at a media briefing in Abuja on Monday. Adamu also revealed that a National Institute of Technology would be established in Abuja to serve essentially as a postgraduate centre devoted to research and innovation. At number two, the Independent National Electoral Commission announced on Monday that 5,346 personnel will be deployed to 2,673 registration centers for the continuous voter registration resuming nationwide on Monday, June 28, 2021. The announcement was made by INEC Chairman Mahmoud Yakubu during the presentation of INEC Voter Enrollment Device and the online registration portal for the exercise at a meeting he held with media executives in Abuja. Yakubu said majority of the 5,346 personnel to be deployed would be INEC officials, while ad hoc staff would be used where the commission lacked the required number of personnel. At number one, the World Trade Organization has said that Africa is working with the European Union and other partners to help create regional vaccine manufacturing hubs with Nigeria, South Africa, Senegal and Rwanda. The Director General of WTO, Ngozi Okonjo Iwala, disclosed this on Monday during a virtual meeting. She said regional production hubs in tandem with open supply chains offer a more promising path to preparedness for future health crises. Also on Monday, the Coalition for Dialogue on Africa Independent Task Team on Equitable and Universal Access to Vaccines and Vaccination in Africa launched in Nigeria. Always remember to wear your mask, wash your hands and stay safe. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening.